street you live on? Pam Sordell. I'm the founder of Puppy Mill Awareness of Southeast Michigan. I live in Clarkston. Karen's holding up some photos of the Roe Crest Kennel. Um, we were here last time. Um, you're probably wondering why we're here again. Um, just yeah, actually, I'm going to interrupt you for one minute sure. because you do know that, number one, this is a county issue. We talked about that last time. In fact, our county commissioner is here that could handle that. Perhaps you should have that conversation with her. And there were some postings on social media, contrary to what's put on social media. This is just public questions and comments. There's no open discussion of the issue. I think we already talked about the fact that there is what appears to be a successful end to this issue. While that being said, there is a lot, there's litigation that's pending out there, so this isn't going to be widely discussed. So I'll let you make your Thank five you. minutes worth Thank of you. comments, but realize you're in the wrong place. I understand. We do have some Farmington Hills residents here um, that will not be speaking, and I will be representing their concerns tonight. Um, these photos here um, were taken by Animal Control on June 1st. Three months later, these animals are still in this kennel. This is neglect. These animals are being impacted by the conditions. This is state cruelty laws. This is neglect. Um, if an animal is living in unsanitary conditions, it impacts their health. So they have ear infections, they have eye infections, they have matting, they're living in feces, the, mat, the feces is matted into their fur. This is impacting their health. That would be animal cruelty. So why are we here three months later still waiting? That's why we're here tonight because the Farmington Hills Police, number one, can enforce state cruelty laws. Number two, zoning can enforce the non-compliance use of the basement. We know that um, zoning's looking into that. Um, number three, we do feel that um, the Farmington Hills staff, city council, everyone should be aware animal control is not providing the services and protecting animals in your community. So we have formed an animal welfare committee. It will probably be an advisory committee. We're still developing it. We're going to be meeting regularly. The hot topic right now is this case. But there are other issues that Im impact your community. Um, Anti-tethering, you know, tethering chain dogs, dangerous dogs, um, strays running loose. Um, your residents shouldn't have to go all the way to Auburn Hills to look for their pets. So there's a lot of issues that we could do working together um, with the city and we'll form um, a panel and a representation to where we can maybe work together on advisory of some, there's some um, best practices ordinances. We could strengthen your cruelty laws. We have a lot to offer the city and um, Karen is a kennel worker. She's coming to the meetings. We have the Golden Retriever Rescue attending. We have um, the press attending and we have local neighbors um, wanting to work on this more. So. Um, they asked it for us to come tonight again to speak about our concerns um, because last time you said the county's working on this, but we don't feel that if they were taking animal control or animal cruelty seriously, they would have shut this kennel down in June when they had um, a case, a cruelty case. This is evidence of cruelty. Um, we know the the kennel operator is. 79 issues in our later years. This is a mental illness. Other cities in Oakland County and across the state do not handle hoarding cases, giving them an agreement. So a closed date of November is not acceptable. It will not protect the animals. The kennel will move to another city or county. That's why we're here, because this is not how you handle a hoarding case. That's what this is, is a hoarding case. You need to prosecute with, with restrictions on animals. We don't want to send someone to jail like this. We would want probation terms that include a restriction on animals and access to all the properties. That's what we need. We need restitution for the rescues that will be taking the animals. That's how other cities handle hoarding cases. They prosecute, they don't send them to jail, they put them on probation terms. That's what we're asking for. So thank you thank for your you. time. Thank you for your time tonight. Thank you.